Welcome back, everybody. It is Reefly here. I'm back with another anime discussion slash review slash whatever you want to call it. So, the first three, because I think I've done three, uh, first three episodes have been basically all shows that I think most people... I guess should sort of like at least Dragon Ball Z. You know that Tokyo Ghouls is a really popular anime that just that's you know that that's new over the last few years, and Bleach is one of those pretty popular animes that's been around for a while. So this time around, like I said, I was gonna do something a little less mainstream. And, uh, yeah. The show is called Monthly Girls Nozaki, <laughs> Nozaki-kun. So, you're, you're asking, briefly, uh, what made you want to watch this show? And I can't really give you an answer. I just was looking for, like, a comedy. And this show was in the comedy section. On Hulu, I'm just like, okay, let's I, let's see what this is out about. I, I was expecting it to be really like dumb and like not good. I don't know why. I just like I just want to watch something that's not good or dumb. And guess what? It was totally not dumb. Dumb or what else did I say? Dumb or stupid? Like. <laughs> It's really good. It's a, this is a really good show. I just, I'll just say it right now. Um, so, the main idea of this uh, show is it's kind of a romance slash comedy show. I'd lean more, a little bit more towards comedy. Because uh, it doesn't really fall into the romance tropes. But uh, it's kind of custom in that genre. But it's about a girl. I guess it's not really about it. But it circles around a girl named Sakura who has red hair and has red and white polka dotted bows. And she is in love with. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Nozaki. Thus, Nozaki Kun. I'm not even gonna try to say his name, um, <laughs> or his like for whatever his name is, Nozaki, who is a manga uh, writer, manga artist slash writer, and I'll just say this: this show is just like it just plays on itself really well uh yeah I'll, I'll i'll sum up the thing before i go off on a on something else and basically you just she sakura uh ends up helping him with his his uh manga that he writes and that's how the, that's basically what the show is about but it's all about the journey and all that, and it's just funny because this <laughs> Nozaki is just completely—he uh, has no clue about anything, really. <laughs> That's the funny part. Like, you like if you've ever watched like a romance anime of some sort, you know how like dumb or like just how. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, how much the characters just don't aren't aware of like of what other people think of them, even though it's so obvious. And this guy is just like he's just an antithesis of that. <laughs> but it makes sense in this show because his manga is a romance manga, but he knows no nothing about romance in real life, and. It, uh, the show has like six or seven characters that uh that it kind of focuses on 
and each of those characters is based on a different character in Nozaki's manga. But it's it's funny because like one one guy in the show, uh, he's like supposed to be like the kind of the cool, attractive guy at school, and then in the manga, he's like the princess or like the, the female lead in the manga. <laughs> so it's just all these weird like just. I don't even know how to describe just these weird like connections between the manga, what's going on in the manga, and the the people in real life in the show. Like there's this girl who is kind of acts more like a guy, and she's the prince or the main fe- main male lead of the manga. So it's just kind of funny. Um, but yeah, the show the show is just like one of the funniest animes I've watched. Um. Like, it just has these, like, great moments of just people <laughs> doing really stupid stuff. Like, I, it usually just centers around Nuzo- Nozaki uh, just doing some really dumb stuff. And it's just hilarious. I wish I could show you guys it. Like, I, I, like I'm not going to do this show justice by talking about it because it's something you have to watch. But it's just some dumb moments that are just funny as can be. And, yeah, it's just good. <laughs> um, there's really no payoff, per se, with the, the romance. You think there's going to be some payoffs at some points. And then, if it just, just something weird happens and it just turns into a hilarious moment. Um... Yeah, there's like it's just all the characters in it too are just like each are unique and like have their own thing that just is weird and just makes just makes it they're all just really ridiculous on like spectrums like there's this uh one chick who's like a really good singer and all that but she doesn't like to talk about it and she's always like She's always, like, I forgot what it is. She's always doing, like, getting people in trouble or something, and she doesn't even understand it. <laughs> understand why they're getting in trouble. I don't know. It's just, they're all really good characters. Uh, I, you know, you kind of cheer on Sakura. You know, you just know how just oblivious Nozaki is to her uh her moves per se um yeah i mean i really don't have much else to say about this like it's just really funny and it's really good um yeah there's only been one season i don't know if there's gonna be another i don't think there will be but the season ends off in a way that i think fits the show and I was uh, I, I I liked the ending, cause it just it just fit the show well enough. And you know you don't completely feel satisfied. It's like yeah, that's that's Monthly Girls Nozaki Kun. <laughs> that's that's the show. That's what happens in that show. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's see if I'm gonna miss anything. Yeah, I mean, there's, really not, there's not much else to say compared to whatever else I've watched. Because uh, it's just, each episode's kind of just like a... Like a different story, per se. You know, each week, uh, Nozaki has like a... A manga to get out and write. And... Each week he gets like people to help him out... And he gets inspiration from just stuff going around at the school and from all the other characters. And, like, like 90% of the whole episode is them trying to figure it out, <laughs> what's going to be in the manga. And, like, for about 90%, for all just really awful ideas that are just <laughs> horrible. But he always pulls it out, pulls it off at the end somehow. 
and it turns out to be good. I don't know. This show is funny. Like, I laugh a lot. Um, I would definitely probably say, like, a top five, like, comedy anime I've watched. And I've started watching more and more of those. Because I just like, I don't know, I just like them. Um, so if I, if I had to give us a score, it'd probably be four out of five stars or whatever I'm rating it out of. Uh, it's just a really good show if you kind of like, if you just need something to laugh at and just kind of enjoy for 12 episodes, this is totally, totally worth it. Some cool characters, some hilarious moments. Um, yeah, this is, is a funny show. It's pretty funny. So yeah, that's the shortest anime review slash discussion, because it's not, like, for this show, there wasn't much to talk about, because it's not that complex. And I think I did a pretty poor job of explaining. Um, but I'll, I'll get better. I mean, I think I need to do some more reviewing because a lot of these shows I haven't watched in a few like in a while so not everything's fresh um I have thought about uh like doing just like kind of shows that are going on right now just talking it episode by episode but I don't know because I'm watching I'm currently watching like six shows uh that are all going on uh right now for the spring season and i mainly just watch them all on like friday and saturday because half of them come out on friday and the rest come out on saturday so i have like three hours of shows to watch over the weekend and it's very enjoyable i like it because there's a lot of good shows this uh, this season, but I'll wrap it up. Um, so next time, next episode, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I I might just stick with uh, another comedy or romance or action adventure. You know, you never know. You never know. But let me know what you guys thought if you have watched the show. Uh. I enjoyed it a lot, as you, as you heard. And as always, I'm free. I feel free to to, to, blah, blah, to suggest uh, shows to watch and me to review and discuss. Uh, I'm pretty open, and I'll let you know if I've already watched it, or if I don't plan on watching it. But uh. Like, if it's a show that I, I've watched before, but it's been a while, I might go back and watch some episodes, kind of refresh my brain, but usually I don't do that, because it takes a lot of time. But I'll shut up. Okay, so thanks for watching. Uh, you guys have watched my Monthly Girls Nozaki-kun review and discussion. It's a good show. You should watch it. I think even if you're not into, I like I, I would just say overall if you like watching animes, like I recommend this because it's it's just good, it's just good stuff. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you uh, in the next episode.